Hi, I'm Josh and this is Britlek. Today we're going through the Vito Pro Pack High Viz Rucksack Toolbox. Uh, so let's open it up. Been using it for about a week now. Uh, see what tools I've got inside. work left to right I reckon. Um, so this, <clears throat> a few people told me to buy one of these and well I just didn't take it up for a good while right. Since buying one I use this pretty much every single day and it's the best thing ever. So you know we got like the little fixing holes in all the sockets and stuff like that. Instead of fiddling around with us with a, uh, a pencil all you've got to do is push that in a little bit of paint squirts out. What's that called? Marks it amazing. Honestly, I would never go back now. What's it like, called? Oh, it's Marksman. <laughs> you tell them that, <laughs> you? This is the Marksman Professional. Shout out to the guy that made that because that is a good bit of a uh, bit of kit. Here I've just got a few screwdrivers, don't really use these, just like backup ones. Um, these are what I use, these we're uh, interchangeable ones. They're good, they're fast, they don't take up a lot of room, so... I do actually miss places quite a lot, but they always turn up, so it's alright. But, um, really good screwdrivers. I've had the, the built, well, just like the, the individual screwdrivers with each head in them before, but it's pretty good. Good for testing, just put this in the pocket, run around, change the heads, don't have to carry loads of screwdrivers on you that way. That's those, the Weirers. Um, got some croppers for tails. Got first fix and just easy snip them off as you're walking, like, walking around doing the job. A pair of Nipex pliers. These are pretty old now, but uh, they still hold up strong. Not seized at all, so. Good pair of uh, pliers, them. There's some old NWS snips. More Nipex. Just side cutters, use these every day. Great product. Um, I've got some Nipex long nose pliers as well, which come in handy quite often. Got a pad saw. I mean, if you're an electrician, you need a need a pad saw. Everyone everyone uses these all the time. So, got a plaster board, as you'd imagine. Let's go for these hammers. I'll get these out of the way. So I've got like a nylon hammer, this is actually really good. So I found before if you hit the back of the fuse board out with one of these, you can bend them a little bit, this just knocks them out within one or two hits. It doesn't bend the metal at all, so good little tool that, it's quite rigid, so. <coughs> and then that, that's just something I've had for years, it's a uh, forged steel. I've had that since I started my apprenticeship, and honestly that is a, it's a weapon. It's not a weapon, it's a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good tool. Gonna need one of them anyway, aren't you? Right, so, got a little level here. Just bought another level, um, a small one. I've seen these people using the stabiler ones. Tying me up all levels. So I bought one of them just to fit in this box. Lighten it up a bit. RJ45 making off tool. Comes in handy, I don't really, it's not something I use every day, but you know, it comes in handy. RJ45 um, crimper. More crimps. Got these old G JCB ones. That's like for ferrules and stuff like that. And then that's for um, lugs. A little file there. Flat one in the back. So, we've got a couple of adjustable spanners. I did have some Nipex um, Cobra port pump pliers. But they've gone missing. I went to a job <laughs> and I think someone's taken them off me. So I've ordered a new pair of those, so they'll be here in a few days. ITS, shout out, fast delivery. Get on to them, I'll switch out my tools. So I've got a couple of adjustables there. Normally got a ball pump pliers in there. Stanley blade, Just use that most days as well, pretty good. Um, in here I've just got a little 10 mil, a couple of 10 mils there use them quite a lot <clears throat> very important 
piece of kit, the Fluke Tester 177 this one. It's pretty good actually, I mean it's got all the settings I need for it. Oh yeah, so this Vito Pro Pack, it's got this cool little um, pocket here. Put stuff in there, I've got a couple of Allen keys in here, just more ones. Got a set of star keys. Got a proper set of Allen keys, but these are just light and if you're just carrying them around. Got quite a lot on there, so um, what else have I got in there? These are two bits, drill bits. I do have a, have a hole saw bit that's in my tool, uh, drill box at the moment. Um, what else we got in here? That's pretty much it for this, this front end. So I normally use a, a decent sized hacksaw. I can't put it anywhere in this bag, so that's one thing that is uh, a bit of a fault with it. I can't fit a decent sized hacksaw, so I'm going to have to get a little uh, a mini one. A junior hacksaw. So, on the side here, I've got this matching uni like high -vis. This thing here is insane. 1000 lumen. Not too expensive either, but very bright. I use that, I'd say I use that pretty much every single day just for inspecting, getting in roof spaces. I mean, it's just a quality bit of kit. And I used to use a phone torch a lot, and after using this, I'd never go back to that because I mean, it's good, it's magnetic as well. So. And it's good for board changes and stuff as well. Um, the bag's got this little uh, Kevlar strap on it, so you can put tape and stuff on it. Uh, Sharpie. Sharpie for your Sparky. Sharpie for the Sparky. Stanley um, tape measure, 8 meter one. Um, a couple of pens and pencils inside there. Just put them in there. Oh, I know what I missed out. This. So I've done an Instagram post the other week on this. Um, so I normally use a hacksaw. Um, use a hacksaw. I've always got one with a hacksaw, but someone said try one of these out. I tell you what, it's a wicked big kit. It took me a few attempts to get it right and like know how much you have to torque it to get the um, the scoring right. But I definitely would recommend one of those because um, if you're doing a lot of SWA, it makes a real nice cut because when you're doing a hacksaw, when you're twisting it around and stuff, it just doesn't cut it straight. This gets a straight cut on the on the steel armour every single time. So, uh, but if you haven't got one of those, at least try one out. It's, uh, I think they're about 25 quid. Worth it though. Worth it. <laughs> and they haven't told me to advertise that. So. <laughs> right, on to the back. Come in, come in. Right. So this is a nifty little feature on this, right? So it locks it. Lift that up, slide it out, down, drop back. And then you've got a back compartment as well, isn't it? So we've just got some ratchet spanners in there. Shiny and new. Shiny and new. The old faithful. <laughs> so I bought these, right? And uh, the packaging, it looks like there's one missing. I thought it was because there's no 12 mil in there. So it goes from 8 to eight to 19 mil, but I've missed out a 12 mil spanner for some reason. So I did actually contact the people that I bought it off, they sent me another packet, opened it up, and there's no spanner. Right, in here, what have we got? 6 mil drill bit, always comes in handy, a couple of uh, inspection cabinet keys very handy never try opening one of those with a uh, pair of long nose pliers bit of a pain saves a lot of time that just keep those on me spares I've got a load of way goes in there good little thing I've uh, got a jimmy bar lifting floorboards don't really use that very often to be honest another pair of side cutters these were the first pair of side cutters I've ever had, but they're actually good. I like using these um, 
little socket screw snips. You just put the socket screw straight in there, snip it, good little tool. Put that draper on there, something like that. There goes strippers. Yeah, anyway. But, um, some D-Rock tin snips. Rarely use them either. So the stuff I don't really use like on a daily basis tend to put them back. Screwdrivers, just beaten drivers. <laughs> this. I mean I rarely use this, but I tell you what, I have used it a couple of times and it's been pretty good. It's just good for finding cables under the floorboards and stuff, so just came with another tool I bought, so kept it. Don't really use it. What else? <clears throat> Little Martindale, got this little um, lock off kit. And a little tool of that. I said that this isn't the stuff I use a lot in the back. <laughs> I use this every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, just a bit of blue and brown sleeving, always comes in handy. And that's about it for the actual what's in my box. What's in my box? <laughs> so, uh, this is. I bought one of these because I saw the Tom Nagy um, shout out because he's the god of YouTube electrical wise. <laughs> anyway, so I saw him like reviewing one of these the other day, so I thought I'll, I'll pick was one. Was it up. him? It was his well, mate, wasn't it? One of his, one of his workers bought it, but I mean, I thought I'll have a go. And I tell you what, I'm pretty impressed with it. Like the actual build quality is very good, um, solid. Comes with five-year warranty, so if there's like anything that's wrong with it, they uh, they replace it. But I mean, it is quite heavy. Dab on your back is quite heavy, but I mean, some people might not use as many tools as me. But I don't know if you if you're putting any more than that in it. I mean, it's. You turn up to site, oh boy. Hey. Anyway, yeah, that's a wrap. So, I mean, I think this was 250 plus that. So it's an expensive toolbox. I mean, I don't know many toolboxes that electricians use which are more expensive than that, but invest in your kit, I suppose. And uh, yeah, I got this from ITS. They've got a deal on actually. Also came with that for free. A little testing bag, so they have got a deal on at the moment. A little testing bag, it's pretty handy if you are doing a bit of testing. So I'm gonna load it up at some point. Yeah, ITS. So there's this little thing here, little hook, just pushes back down in there. Like that. Pull that out and then you strap it on stuff. I just got it here at the moment. like that leave it there it's nice and close to the door easy right if you like the video and you want to see more i think we're going to be doing like a weekly episode of just all the jobs that i've done through the week pile them all together and um i don't know i think it'll just be quite relaxed vlog content so yeah if you like what you've seen so far subscribe <laughs> subscribe and like the video all right cheers <laughs> bye bye Cheers.